Fisher Brad. And I'm 22LR guy. And today we're gonna go after some brown trout. Now before we get out in the water, we're gonna show you guys our setups and the lures we like to use. I'm gonna be using a nine foot Reddington Path fly rod with a 1-3 reel. Believe it or not, I'm running 50 pound braid and I have great success with it out here. My favorite lures on this river are going to be the Panther Martin gold blade with the red dots. Also, we're gonna like the red panthers with the chrome blades. We like to run maps. So those are my go-to lures, guys. If you guys are gonna go brown trout fishing, I suggest highly picking those ones up. Now we're gonna go over my setup. Right here, I'm using my Akataka Mega Wave Rod Medium Action. I got 30 pound Power Pro braid on my FDDR 13 ball bearing reel. And I'm running, it's different from him, I'm actually running a fluorocarbon line. I'm running eight pound fluorocarbon, and then I got a barrel swivel and my Panther Martin. Here is my fluorocarbon line. It's STS trout slash steel at 100% fluorocarbon eight pound test. Right here is a close up. I prefer running fluorocarbon compared to just braid. My friend here, 22LR, loves just using braid. I just don't find personally it working well for me, so I always run a fluorocarbon. Right here is a size six Panther Martin. This has been my go-to for steelhead this year. You actually can see this lure in action on my How to Fish the Mill Creek, the easiest way to catch steelhead. I'm gonna start off with that one, and then I have a wide selection of Panther Martins that I love to use for trout. Right here is one of my favorite colors. It's the yellow with the four red dots. However, today, this one's a little bit damaged, so I might use this one eventually, but not right away. I try to use the prettiest ones at first, and then go to my favorites that are right, damaged. Matt, we're gonna be using a fray bill. It's rubber coated, perfect for trout. Mine that's a little bit cheaper. It's actually not as good for trout because it's a rope net, but it'll still get the job done at any big fish. Now we're gonna run through a couple spots that I'd like to fish. We want to cast, you can see the pool where it's running gonna run around the river this little pool right here where it comes in and out they're gonna be resting so we're gonna try and cast up in we go out we're gonna take the drone out DJI Mavic Air we're gonna check out some spots see where we want to fish at today one of the reasons why I got this drone I can see everything on my phone Can I get one of those barrel swivels, the ones that you attach your lure to? Do you have any that were different than the ones you gave me? Like the, 
Yeah, you have any different ones, like just a black one or something? Right? I'm gonna do one last cast with this. Two more. And then I'm gonna switch. No, just the, the attachment so I can attach a lure to it. So I'm just gonna switch out from now on with the. Just jumped over there. It makes me want to cast over there. This, this lure is already beat up. Might as well try. Oh! 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 Yeah! 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 Nice. Oh, it's stuck in the tree. Oh my god, no way. No, I got him still. Oh my god, yes! That is the coolest fish ever. I seen it jump, guys. Oh my goodness. I threw it right over a tree. I was like, oh, I just seen a monster jump. I just got this gorgeous brown trout. Look at this, guys. The coolest thing is, I seen it just jump. I got caught up in a tree and I still got it in. This is just awesome natural brown. Man, this is a trophy in itself. That's a good fish, buddy. That's a very good fish. That is so awesome. Woo! <laughs> yeah. I actually caught on my favorite lure of all. Once I get it out, let me try to pop open the mouth. I am going to keep this, so I'm going to put my finger in inside its gills, but otherwise I would not do that because it's not good for the fish. But right there, my yellow with the four red dots and the silver blade. Craziest thing happened. I seen it jump over there. I didn't even see it really the fish. I just seen the splash. Oh, a fish. I'm going to cast over there. The line got over top of the tree and it hit as soon as it hit the water. As you've seen on the GoPro footage, I'm battling it and the, the pole is just like this. The lure is just up in the air. The, it's stuck on the tree still. I thought I was going to lose it for sure, but I actually got it. All all right, all guys, the I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I'm really excited that I did get hooked up on some nice brown trout. I only got two for sure, but I've had multiple bumps all day long. As always, if you'd like to help support my channel, I do have fan gear apparel available for purchase. Here's one of the hats. Get anything you guys want, hoodies, bags, anything like that. All right, guys, I just wanted to say a very, very big thanks to Dominic. He was an awesome dude, and he's been a subscriber to me for a long time. He's been one of my really big fans, and I'm really excited that he invited me out to come and fish with him, and we got on some awesome fish. It was definitely a blast fishing new areas, new cities, and just new rivers in general. I always love going out to fish new rivers and just see what everything has to offer all over Michigan. In this video, I showed my first ever scene of drone footage. I plan to have a lot more drone footage coming soon and I'm hoping to have it in each one of my videos in about a month. As you guys can tell, while I was battling that fish, I was pretty geeked. That was my first ever natural brown trout I ever caught. I've caught many in the past, but all the ones in the past I've caught were stocked fish. You could tell this was a natural fish because it was still had the bottom dorsal fin by the tail, which was located right about there. I already ended up taking that brown trout to the taxidermist, so I'm gonna get it mounted to put up on my trophy wall. If any of you guys have any spots you'd like me to come fish with you guys, just send me a message on my Instagram or my Facebook. My Facebook name is Brad Dyer, and on Instagram, you can find me on the underscore Fisher underscore Brad. Just send me a message and tell me what you'd like to target and what area it's in, and I'll GPS it, see how far away it is, and if I can pull it off, I will come and fish with you guys. 
As you guys can tell, I always love using panther martens. They produce a lot of awesome fish. I've caught many different species on them, including trout and pike and just many others. I've been talking to them within the past year or so, hoping to seal in a sponsorship soon. So I really hope they enjoy watching this video as well. If I receive the sponsorship, I would love to be able to use all the lures they'll send me to test trial, try new patterns out for you guys so you can see them before they even come out. But anyways, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Like I said, drone fish will be coming soon in the next month or so. I'm hoping to get it before I make my Alaskan trip. If you'd like this video, I'd really appreciate you giving it a like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, guys.